So right now, if you look at the data with um, the crash rates, it's a little too early to see what effect the law has had. Do you think roads are safe? Lawmakers are divided on that question. After passing the hands-free Tennessee law last year, a bill has now been proposed that could repeal it. So we asked you this morning, do you think the roads are safer or more dangerous since the hands-free law went into effect? Close to 300 people weighed in and 75% voted that roads are more dangerous. So now we want to hear from you. Vote right now at WBIR.com slash vote or in the WBIR app. And while you vote, 10 News reporter Katie Inman took a driving test with distractions. To get a visual on what it looks like when you're distracted driving and when you're not, we're putting that to the test. Let's with... get your seatbelt on. Oh, you're right. First thing, get that seatbelt <laughs> on. We're with Greg Mangan from Drive for Life Academy on KPD's closed driving course. So first, I'm going to do a simulation where I'm not distracted driving. Greg, what should I know before I take part in this? Well, you should know that you're going to learn a lesson about life today and driving and texting. All right. That's what, that's what you're going to learn today. That's right, and hopefully you at home will too. So let's go. We started out with something easier. When you get up near those cones, I'm going to either say right or left. Okay. At that point, you need to steer. Here we go. Straight ahead, head towards those two cones in the center. Let's go to about 30. A little faster. Hold it there. Right. Break hard. But when you add more obstacles and throw in distractions like texting, it's not the same response. That'd be funny. <laughs> There's your text. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, cones. No one obviously got hurt in that little right. simulation, but that could be a child on a bicycle. It could be it could be any kind of thing that presents itself out in the traffic environment that is a very, very bad thing. On the driving course, Katie Inman, 10 News. It's a pretty revealing test, and as we asked you that question earlier today and more of you are weighing in, the idea of the roads being a little safer is improved. You can see it used to be in the 60s, now it's down in the 50s. You can keep voting at WBIR.com and through the app that we have as well.